What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Peach TV. Tonight is episode six of Stream Reviews, dude. We're live on Twitch right now, and if you need your stream reviewed, come and submit through the channel points. Your stream, we'll review it, we'll help you out. We're even giving away free coaching calls uh, for private ones, but I'm giving away free ones in the Discord. Come and join us, we'll help you with your stream. Let's get started. Let's go find Saren TV. All right, so starting off, I see that you have a banner in the background, which is nice. It matches with your starting soon screen, which is nice. Let's just check, does it match with, uh, yeah, it matches with your other info panels, so that's really cool. But we don't really see anything here, which it's not really a bad thing, you know, but we don't really see, get any information. So the banner is kind of like, the real estate on the banner is a little bit missing, but that's fine. Uh, we got you, your username here, your profile picture. It is a little bit hard to see you down here in your profile picture like your head is really really small in this picture um but you know is this a bad thing i don't think so i, I think that we can we can make it out it's not too not too too bad you got your recent broadcast up which is awesome overwatch is your main game sean i know sean i know sean very well let's go to your about and see what's up welcome i'm sarah how do i pronounce am i even saying this right Saren? i feel like this is something maybe people like struggle with to pronounce your name say say ran Saren. does everybody call it call you Saren? got your pronouns in here i love that he they 25 years old queer and unicorn at heart my main game is overwatch 2 and i have the shakiest aim in the biz come in and say hi i'm always ready to make some new friends business inquiries okay one thing i want to say here is is because I know that you're French Canadian because down here in your about me, it says that you're French Canadian. If you want to like be in the English side of things, which is also something that we'll talk about, there's no space between like the word and the exclamation, unless you're doing it for like the look and the aesthetic, instead of it being like a flat straight bar, you're kind of putting an exclamation in between your sentences as like a pretty thing, then that's fine, it's different. But if you're trying to ex exclaim each sentence, then, uh, you know, there, there's no space here normally. I know in French that we also put like a space and then a question mark sometimes, but if that's that's not like, I feel like that's very slang and it's not like official um, writing, you know? <laughs> so just, just be aware of that. Um, the way you have it now actually looks like every sentence is split by an exclamation. So if you like it like that, it's it's totally fine. Uh, it's just, it, I feel like it's kind of gets a bit hard to, it's not hard to read, but it trips me up a little bit. But who cares about that really? It's not that big of a deal. Okay, um, so what do we get to learn about you here? So we learn that, uh, we learn your age, um, you know, we learn, we learn a little bit more about you, this part, and then what else? Uh, that your main game is Overwatch. I like this part that you say like you have the shakiest aim in the business kind of tells us about your stream and that maybe you're not the, a pro player. And then, you know, we'll learn about that. Come in and say, hi, nice. I'm always ready to make some new friends. For sure, of course. And you got your business acquires. Okay, so nothing wrong here. Twitter, TikTok. Let's okay, open Discord just to make sure. Work. Discord is working. Have that here it popped up for me. Your TikTok is working, which is nice. You got stuff going. That's awesome. Nice. I like your bio here in TikTok, by the way. Um, good stuff. Nice. Okay. Always Overwatch content. Nice. And then we got uh, your Twitter, which is good. Perfect, man. All this stuff looks really, really good. All right, no complaints here. You got your follower goal, which is cool. Let's learn a bit more about you. So, hi, my name is Saren. I'm 25 years old and queer. I love to connect with new people and make new friends. So this part of the about me, you know, I just, it, there's a little bit of redundancy from your bio. Is it a bad thing? I don't really think it's that bad because it's a, it's just, it's short. It's not like you copy pasted this whole entire thing. But yeah, there, there is some redundant stuff in here, you know, but I'll be talking mostly in English, but my first language is French. If you're wondering, I'm French Canadian. Okay, cool. So, you know, this is something I want to talk to you about maybe on our call is like, why, why did you choose to go English if your first language is French? Um, I'm curious about that part. Uh, I have a diploma in video game development and currently work as a programmer. That's super cool. Did you know when I first started streaming, I was doing game development. I made my own game. My main game is Overwatch 2, I have the shakiest aim in the game. Okay, so again, here we have some, some duplicate information, 
But I guess this kind of solidifies what's going on. I hope you enjoy your stay and don't forget to go to the inn if you're feeling tired. Okay, cool. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we know you a little bit and you give us some cool information here. Yeah, I think that this is good. Got a picture of you, which I like. You got your schedule here. Monday, so you're streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, four days a week. How long are your streams normally? You're streaming like two and a half hours to three hours. Okay, so four times a week for three hours, that works. That works. As long as you always have time to be posting on socials, right? Posting on TikTok, posting on Instagram or Twitter or whatever you want to post or YouTube shorts, wherever you're posting your stuff, that is important, right? You can stream as little or as much as you want, but focus on the, the growth, right? You got your chat rules here, awesome. You got your emotes browser here, nice. And uh, you got your Twitter and your Discord. So some people might not realize this. This is just a silly thing for me is that they might not be able to click on this. They might not know it's clickable, but you have your links up here, which is, which is fine. I would say for your Discord though, I would put a little bit of text in here to kind of give a reason why we should join your discord what value because there's so many discord every streamer has a discord nowadays so you really got to give a good valuable reason why joining your discord is uh, important okay lgbtqia plus safe space i like this and then to know all commands exclamation commands okay cool i like the commands thing that's smart um this looks good this looks good let's go to your chat here you got a banner Okay, this looks like the same banner as your 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 other banner, so that all works together. And let's look at your channel points. You got some uh, stuff on screen, confetti. Say hi first. All right, you got a bunch of cute stuff in here. Translate in French and stream right now. Oh my God, okay, cool. That's nice. And let's go take a look at your emotes. All right, oh my God, your emotes are amazing. Your emotes are so cute, man. Bonk, bunny, fine. Everything's fine. The GG, I love that. Hype, rip, rave, pog. The scream, I love this, man. Bit tier emotes. You're actually one of the first people I see that doesn't have tier two and tier three emotes. I uh, kind of respect it, but if you do have some extra emotes, fill those in, you know, it gives a reason for people to subscribe to your two and tier three follower emotes. Super cute, man. Actually nice. Actually really, really nice. All your sub badges up to 18 months. Nice. I love this. This is what we talk about that, like evolution and your cheer badges. Oh, super cute. Super cute. All the way up to, what is this? A million bits. <laughs> I love that, man. So simple. Okay, honestly, your emotes are, are really cool. I kind of wish that, you know, I know that they're showed off here in this little thingy, but I'm, I'm curious if you can, I don't know. I wish they were part of your branding a little bit more, especially since you say that you're, you're a unicorn at heart. You know, I, I wish we saw this, this, this unicorn lol, or like, I don't know. I wish we saw them as part of your, your banners here. Like instead of these moons, maybe put those unicorns just to kind of bring everything together. I feel like it would look super cute and it would show those off more. Um, I really, really like them though. Good job. Okay. You have everything, you have everything, uh, all nice and set up. Let's go take a look at, uh, one of your VODs and, um, and see awesome. how that goes. Oh, you know what? I know, you know that I was going to review your VOD to, from today. So I'm really curious if we should watch today's VOD or yesterday's VOD when you weren't really maybe paying attention <laughs> so you could see you in your proper element, but, uh, we'll watch the one from today. Cause I'm sure you were, you were giving it your all. <laughs> so you got your music split out, which is good. Cause I don't hear anything, but I see music playing down here. I think and uh your starting student screen is like a little mini video not much going on there's no timer on there which isn't a bad thing but generally i recommend if you know that you always do like a five minute starting soon screen then you're gonna get like it's gonna be easier for you if you have a timer just so that people expect when you come on so like see here is like boom you're live, right? But when there's that countdown, it's kind of like three, two, one, happy new year. You know, <laughs> it's like the big party. Uh, and then, and then you're live. So 
having some sort of little timer, even if it's three minutes, you know, that's, that's totally fine. Uh, and they're very easy to set up. So feels like a quick play kind of day support main discord, Twitter, cat nails. Okay, cool. I like that you put your support main. If you play ranked, I also recommend putting your rank in the title and make sure your tags also has your rank. If you play ranked and support as a, as a tag, that's going to help too. Okay. Even I would even consider putting overwatch two as a tag and putting support as a separate tag. Okay, and your tags, use those tags, guys. That's very helpful for you. Keep in mind that your titles are super important. Like, feels like a quick play kind of day. You know, this gives like what kind of vibe that you're feeling today, which is cool. But, you know, your title, just keep in mind in general, your title is the only thing that you can control on Twitch when people are browsing Twitch, um, that people can get, what's the word, interested enough to come and click on your stream. Your thumbnail you can't control, but your title you can. Okay, so let's watch you uh, come in on stream. A nice little overlay. Are you muted? Oh, okay, I thought it didn't work. <laughs> muted. So lower that music. And it's working. Hello. Okay, we can't hear Hi. the music, so I can't Hi. tell you how your volume is compared to your voice and your mic, and your I mean your mic and your volume of your music. Hi, welcome. Hi. It is low so. though. Like I have you at max, and Hello. it's hard to hear. I said it 20 times. Um, <laughs> today. Yeah. Overall, I say your mic is low. I don't know where it is on your setup, but I feel like it's it's far from your mouth. Was it you that I was talking with that said it, you keep it like one hand distance away? Maybe not. But uh, generally, one hand distance like this is good. But today, because it's yeah, I feel like it's low volume in general. Maybe it's something in your OBS. Play some plays him in the best but i want to practice because it gotta work for me it gotta work okay i like that you're talking i like that you have like the energy and stuff it's just so hard to hear you i'd have to crank you up if i compare your stream to another stream the volume is going to be completely different so that's just something to, to keep in mind of of like volume normalization okay and i hear stuff in the background it kind of sounds like birds I didn't know that you had birds. Like that would be something cool maybe to put in your bio if you care about those birds. <laughs> uh, could be something to talk about, but I hear them too, which is, you know, also part of your audio and stuff like that. So there's some filters that you can add to your microphone in OBS, um, like a noise gate or noise suppression, things like that. If you wanna remove those sounds, it's not a bad thing, but it's up to you. But the further your mic is away from you, the more it's gonna pick up sounds from all over your room or your house. Whereas when it's nice and close up and it's intimate, the mic knows, okay, this is the sound I need to be grabbing. Kind of in a way, okay? It's really gonna make you louder. Plus, if you're louder, then we get to lower the volume and then we'll hear less of the birds. Okay, I like your overlay though. You got your follower goal, sub goal. Nice. Is it's five percent. I want to lower. So oh. let's scroll through. Make a big ass sound. Game. Hello. Oh, hi. Getting into okay. chat. Ten minutes in. Nice. My weeklies are already all done. All right. Do you put I'm your gameplay on a separate oh, yeah. Vaughn track, That's or is it just quiet right now in the game? Oh no. Okay, I hear uh, it. Also, don't mind my face. I'm just trying to listen to <laughs> the difference between your voice that. and but, the um, gameplay. But I, I was watching my... Uh... Yeah, it really sounds like you're too far away from the mic. It's hard to hear you. Myself. Audio and listening to the person is so, so critical, you know? I'll just let it play for five seconds so we can get a, a proper listen. Like to do some clapping things. And I... Like, I was like... Oh, okay. Play of the game right there, just because it kills the people on the map. Um, so do you hear, like, it's it's very hard to hear you. I have you on full max volume, and I'm struggling to hear what you're saying. It's almost like as, as if it's not even clear what you're saying, um, just because the mic is so far away. And I don't even think it has to do with your accent. I think it has to do, because you said you're French Canadian, French is your first language, and then you also speak English. I think that you speak English pretty well. I think it's that your the microphone is just not picking up your voice. So you gotta bring that close to you, you know? And if you're speaking into your mic, 
you have to trick yourself into your mic isn't right here. Okay, this is not your microphone. <laughs> your microphone is behind your monitor. That's how I want you to talk as if it's down there. You're talking to somebody at the other end of the table. Okay, <laughs> like you're having dinner, you know, talk to somebody at the other side of the room almost, you know, it's not yelling, but it's, hey, dude, how's it going? You know, you're on the other side over there. I got to I got to I got to wake it up the, the, the vocal cords a little bit, right? So opening of the mouth, talking loud, talking across the, across the, the room, it's going to help you. And, uh, that's going to bring a bit more life into that stream. And it's going to be more engaging for people too, because if they can't really hear you that well, then it's hard for people to type in chat or answer your questions. Cause maybe they didn't really catch it. Okay. And one big thing uh, that I'll say is a lot of people on Twitch are lurkers. Hey, we know that we know that like 90% of Twitch viewers are lurkers. There's no doubt about it. So you like having a nice audio setup, you having a nice, you don't have to have a nice voice, but the, sh the viewers listening to you speaking clearly is so critical because they're going to be gaming. They're going to be working. They're going to be eating. They're going to be doing anything but actively chatting because they're lurking. And if they can't hear you and hear that commentary, then it's going to be difficult to stay in the stream and they might go and look somewhere else, right? Think of sports when people are watching hockey, soccer, football, whatever it is, the commentators are clear and present and they're above any other sound. And we get that play by play from them at every moment, right? All right, let's keep going through. Just scroll through a little bit. Remember, at any point in the stream, people are joining. A girl a call. Um, but some people told me that their cheese Doritos like normal ones. The Doritos haven't their had the Doritos in so long. Red. So even and here too, like in the full screen mode, when you're not, let's say, focused on the game, it's hard to hear you as well here. So what color is the bag? So I know that Overwatch is a very focused game because there's so much stuff going on. I feel like it's hard to have conversations with people, especially like meaningful, deep, proper conversations or try to recount a story because you're using different sides of your brain. You're like focusing so much on the game to like aim and think and strategize. And then you have to recall memories and share a story of something that happened to you with Overwatch games like this that are high intensity i find it really really hard to focus on anything but the game so um in general that's going to be a little bit of a struggle for most people so don't feel bad if that you're quiet most of the time it's just something to be aware of and to work on but i i and like again i can't really hear you that well but since i'm not a vtuber anymore i was like i need to find something else but at least i hear you talking i think you were talking about food before make my name any longer Okay, this is cool. Let's go through your VOD and see what else is going on. Okay, the other thing I want to say is your camera. Uh, you are very dark, like extremely dark and is really like, it kind of goes in with your audio, like your, your camera is dark. Your microphone is dark. So we can't see you that well. We can't hear you that well. It's, it kind of takes away from your presence as the streamer right you are the streamer people come to the stream to see you your reactions to engage with you to chat with you and they want to kind of be there hang out with you if they can't see you that well or hear you that well they're really going to struggle to connect with you so i think you need some lights front facing to shoot onto you because these lights behind you they might actually be hurting you in a way where your camera is adjusting for exposure to pick up those lights in the background and it actually makes everything darker. So just something to keep in mind there. Okay. Overall, overall, I think it, those are just a couple of tweaks you need to make. And I, I think you have like the good vibes, like you know, before you're eating those Doritos, you took a pause, you went full screen, you were chatting. Um, you know, your stream setup is nice. Your emotes are sick. I think overall, like okay, the things that we would have to talk about for your stream in general are more, specific things than just uh just your overall stream vibe uh, cool awesome awesome so i think i have a better idea of you uh let's uh let's get over into uh, a coaching call
we're about to jump into a coaching call with Seren TV. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a context because we had a call, uh, not a call, but I had a conversation with him earlier. So we just did a stream review um, of, of his and uh, you know, everything looked good. There wasn't really anything too crazy to point out besides uh, a microphone issue and some camera lighting issues. Um, but overall, here's a little bit more context. So Saren actually started at the end of January last year and was a VTuber for the longest time until recently went uh, went cam or switched to VTubing and then switched back to, to a cam. Uh, focuses only on Overwatch 2 and uh, just wants to make a safe space where people can chill and laugh and hang out and just play Overwatch 2 with uh, the quote quote, shakiest aim in the biz. Okay, and the goal is to create a safe place and community for people to come and forget about their day where they can be themselves. And the main struggle that Saren wanted to focus on today during the call was um, just talking constantly, sharing stories, and uh, just engaging overall with chat. Cool, so I'm excited. Let's get into a call and see, uh, and see how we can help Saren. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. So how far is your mic from you now? <laughs> I feel far. Because it's, it's going to be hard to change because it's behind my screens. Oh, okay. This sounds better, though. Did you yeah, change I, anything? No, I didn't change anything. And also, like, okay. on my OBS, <laughs> yeah, it seems fine because I hit the yellow. But I guess it's not. Hmm. Yeah, but hitting... Hitting the yellows and stuff is not really mm -hmm. necessary that loud, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's 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 kind of a, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird in that way. It's something that we could look at, um, you know, if you want. Um, and maybe I don't know. Maybe some some people I've seen there they're the in the mixer in OBS they actually lower their volume. Mm -hmm. So it's just a test thing. You got to max it out and go higher with it. Because OBS might pick you up in the yellow, but you can actually go even louder somewhere else, like with your yeah. mic, you know, or something like that. So, yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, try bringing it closer and, and see how that goes. Yeah, I can change it, please. I, I, I changed my desk recently. So okay. that's why it's like, because before it was not that far. Okay. And I changed it because of the desk, but I can okay. change it again. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know that some people want to have the microphone like out of their face. Like even me yeah. with my hands, I feel like I'm always talking to the side because my hands are going to hit my microphone. So it's up to you how you want to have it. But then you got to really adjust your settings or adjust your voice volume. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, congrats on winning the call. I'm excited. Thank you. Uh, let's chat for a, a good half hour and uh, and see what we can do uh, to help you out. Yeah. So you said you want to focus more on chatting and engaging with chat during the stream. So tell me about like kind of a bit more of that. It's just that I think my main struggle is like because I I chat usually, mm -hmm. but it's just I feel yeah. like I'm I'm missing some stories. Like I, I don't know, like there's things happening, but okay. I don't know if I could like maybe... I don't know what to do about that. Like, I just mainly talk about the game and I feel like it's less entertaining. Yeah, I understand that. And I mean, in general, in general, if, yeah, if you're not like teaching the game, then talking about the game is probably going to be not as, you know, enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, especially if it's one of, more of a repetitive game, but it is something that you can fall back on when you're struggling or if something crazy is going on, like if, the people in your game are using voice chat and you're having good, you know, a good time with them, or if they're being toxic, like you have things to, to talk about there, but in general, just the gameplay with that kind of game, because it's very repetitive is, yeah. uh, you know, I understand where you're coming from. What you can do is all of your stories, all the things you want to talk about that you're interested in talking about is put it on like a post-it and tape it to your monitor. You know, and as you share those stories, you know, you go down the list and when you have nothing else to say, check the list and see what you have and continue going there. You know, yeah. One thing that, um, you know, people struggle with, I find is asking questions to the chat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and asking questions that are not just, 
what's the word like close ended you know yeah, let yeah. it be open ended let it be like you know ask them things like i don't know right i'm i'm trying to think of specific things about overwatch but if i were to think about any stream it would just be like oh you know look at this character you know do you like this character or you know what what kind of characters do you guys like to play when you play games like this you know do you choose a ranged or a melee guy up close you guys get in the combat are you a tank or your support you know asking like those types of questions right yeah um if you were playing like other story-based games which you don't so you know won't go down that path but there's so many things you could talk about the ambience of the of the room or of the scene or of the game or of the mission what mission you're doing how far along you are in the mission those are like game related things you could talk about and you can even bring it back to like oh this reminds me of this other game i played you know or yeah. and that can help stir some things in chat right mm -hmm. when you're when you're trying to get away from the game, then that's up to you and the kind of conversations that you want to start. If you want to talk about like food, favorite snacks, favorite, you know, what'd you guys have for dinner tonight? You know, these are all the kind of types of conversations and questions that you can ask. And that those are up to you to kind of think about and see what conversations you want to have. Right. Yeah. Like, do you care about food? <laughs> you know, like some yeah. people are really like not food people. They just order, you know, Taco Bell every night and they don't really care about food. So they're not going to be like, oh, give me some new recipes or bakey, baked goods like muffins. Like nobody's, you know, yeah. some people don't care. Right. So that's really up to you to, to think about what you what you're interested in and what mm -hmm. kind of conversations you want to have with your chat and what's important to you and what's important to them. You said that, you know, you're part of the LGBT community and you want to have a safe yeah. place for them. Right. So maybe your topics of conversation is going to revolve maybe a bit more around that. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, right. let me ask you, do you feel that you're, um, do you, are you involved with like news about LGBT stuff? Is that stuff that you want to talk about? Like things that happen in the news that are affecting the LGBT community? Y yes and no. Like I follow some of them, but not all, but I okay. feel like at the same time I have like, educated a lot of friends about the community because like since i'm part of it i kind of know about it like i did some research about it okay. so that's more of a place where I, I like like i'm i always tell all of my friends like don't be afraid to ask questions because i'm i can answer all of them like i, I right. don't care about the topics like okay about yeah. this because i'm not like i'm not shy about it so okay just, yeah, and that's great. And I, I honestly, I think that's really good. Like, good for you because, as a creator, as a streamer, you're you know you're putting your face out there, uh -huh. and you're kind of being a role model for the LGBT community to be yeah. you know open and public like that, which is great. You know, we need more of that. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. um, and so, you being open to talking about that stuff is great. And I almost would say put that in your bio you know if you want not yeah. your bio but in your about me you know like mm -hmm. if you guys have questions about you know lgbt stuff like feel free to ask me or or whatever if you're if that's something constantly you're bringing up in chat great you know um so so that's good and that's something that you could talk about too if you wanted to right like hey guys did you hear about this stuff that's happening in the news you know this i don't know gay creator or something happened to them whatever like it's it's up to you how you want to go into that um into that space it could yeah. go it could go a little political in a way you maybe could even go down like uh you, you'd have to know what lines you want to cross you know yeah mm -hmm. um but that could be something that you talk about too since that's what you're giving me to work with right you said that you want to make it a safe place for those people so yeah. allowing them to hear about these stories or hear about your own stories and things that you know you do and you know then that helps them feel safe right yeah um yeah and what else is it do you struggle with coming up with things to say or is it more that you struggle with just constantly sharing and talking and but i think connecting? it's more like coming up because like since i stream you know like three days like all together i feel like i don't always have stories okay. but then you gave me some ideas to like because i could when you talk about lgbt stuff and the news and all that i'm like 
I can literally do some research. Like it's not that hard to find information about that. Yeah. And that can bring like a topic. So if I don't have a story for that day or something, I can bring some, some of those topics. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause I was looking at your schedule. You, you stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Yeah. So yeah, when you have the back to back days, it's kind of, it's kind of tough, but Keep in mind that people join when the people join streams. They're not streaming. They're not uh, necessarily watching your stream for uh -huh. the entire stream. And if they come on Tuesday, they might not be there on Wednesday, right? And yeah. as a growing, you know, as all of us are growing streamers, there's always going to be new people joining. So don't worry too much about kind of repeating a story or talking about it or bringing it up again, even within the same stream. You know, if, if, mm -hmm. if an hour and a half has passed and you want to bring that thing up again, you know, like, oh, I was thinking more about that thing that happened. Oh, just to catch you guys up. This is what happened the other day to this person. And, uh, you know, this is how I feel about it. You know, if you bring it up like that, then yeah. it's almost less of like, okay, this guy's just saying the same thing <laughs> on repeat, <Yeah. laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so, and then the next day too, you can bring up those, those same conversations, but yeah, I think it's important that we plan our streams because there's so many mm -hmm. streamers out there, you know, there's so many yeah. other forms of entertainment too. You got Netflix and so many video games to play and stuff like that, that we kind of have to bring some value in some type of way. So maybe for you, it's by talking about stories in the LGBT community, and that helps, you know, raise awareness or that helps break some more of the, you know, stigma or helps people just feel more safe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's as much or as little as you want. Right. But when you are gaming and playing your games, it's really, you're in the driver's seat of how engaged you want to be with your chat. Right. Yeah. Um, it could be just you like totally focused on the game, which <laughs> it happens, you know, it totally happens. Right. Especially in uh, certain situations, you know, you're, oh, it's the last, the last round, you know, it's a uh, death match or not death match. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, <laughs> the, you know, when it's like a tie and the next one yeah, wins, the wins the game, the yeah. point. you know, so it's like those types of situations, it's focus mode and it's cool to see the streamer trying and being there and being part of it. Right. Yeah, but at the end of the day, and this is something I say, especially to newer streamers or small streamers or whatever it is, like, especially uh, if there's no, like, um, like a pro, a pro, a pro gamer, like who's actually trying to be high ranked and play in the esports scene, mm -hmm. people come to watch them because they're so good at the game. Yeah. Right. So then now you don't really need to say anything at all. You just have to play the game because we want to learn yeah. your techniques and, and your strategies and get better because we're just here to learn from you. Right. But when we're not that good, which I'm not good at games as, as good as some other people are, it's, it's hard to just rely on the game. And, and that's why I say in those situations, the game is almost a visual distraction for people. Yeah. Right? They come to the stream just to hang out and have something to kind of keep their attention, which is all the shooting and the guns and the kills and the excitement of you getting a kill or a double kill or a triple kill. Mm -hmm. And it's fun and that's exciting, but there isn't, that doesn't build a connection, right? Yeah. So that's where you come in to be the main host of the stream. And that's what you are, right? You're there to react and engage and ask questions and be there for people to come in hang out with you right yeah. yeah um i don't know i don't know if you can remember a time because i i i can remember a time but it's it was many years ago like 15 plus years ago <laughs> where i was sitting on a couch with you know my best friend at the time we were playing call of duty you know co-op single player missions and we we're just sitting on the couch gaming and i can remember that most of the time it wasn't really about the game you know, yeah. I don't know if you've had that experience, but we were just chatting about, you know, our romantic life and our mm -hmm. parents and pissed off about our parents, <laughs> yeah. you know, and oh, I just got a new car. Oh, bro. So cool. You know, what kind of car do you want? You know, and we're kind of talking about everything almost but the game, you know. Mm -hmm. So as a streamer, this is 
kind of that feeling that we're replicating. People put us up on our screen on their screens and they see us there and we're hanging out with them almost like as if we're in the same room, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of that energy you got to bring in. And I think that when you uh, fix your microphone a bit and yeah. if you could change some of the lighting, I don't know if you, you caught that earlier, but the lighting yeah, on, yeah. on your face and really makes you the main scene of your stream, which you are, right? Otherwise, I would just go watch mm -hmm. Overwatch 2 gameplay on YouTube or something, yeah. right? Because I'm there to hang out with you. So be, by you being the main focus and being the main host, then you're going to bring that those kinds of vibes like, oh man, I'm just, I'm hanging out with Saren. We're here in chat. It's a chill vibe, right? Yeah. So, uh, something to, uh, something to kind of think about there and how you want to go down that path, you know? Yeah, I agree. I, and you talk about the lights and I literally, before the stream today, I, I switched a little bit of my camera cause I, I knew that I was pretty dark, but I, I didn't have time to like figure out the best, uh, the best setting okay. yet. Like, yeah. What camera do you have? I have a Razor Kyle. So there's okay. a ring light on it. But it's okay. not enough. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because my I... apartment doesn't have like its lamps. Like there's no like overhead ceiling lights. Light? Yeah, okay. Ceiling lights. It's actually good that you don't have a ceiling light. A lot of people think the yeah. ceiling light is good, but it's not that good. You know, it could really <laughs> make your scene look bad. Like I have mine on right now for my stream, mm -hmm. but I have it set at like 20% brightness or 10% brightness is very yeah. low. Um, but I have all these other big lights. Like if I were to shut all my lights off on my stream, like I'm pitch black. So that overhead mm -hmm. light doesn't really affect anything, but having a nice light set up on your, on your, um, cam like behind, next to your cam is gonna is gonna help yeah okay. i always tell people that want to like increase the quality of their camera or they're like oh i want to get a dslr camera a high mm -hmm. two thousand dollars i'm like don't do that just if you get a better light it's gonna give more juice to your camera yeah. and you're gonna get better quality you know yeah because i changed the thing because um i don't know like the lights were looking like literally white and i looked white like i looked kind of dead so okay like at least I was like this stream i look dark but i look more like lively yeah 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 it looked really white back. before okay so that's probably like the white balance or the exposure or something yeah yeah so yeah no it, def it definitely looks fine it just needs to be a little bit brighter mm -hmm. yeah I yeah agree. for sure for sure um and do you have a white wall in front of you behind your monitors yes but i mean okay. it's far oh okay i have one Okay. Okay. Your monitors are not up against the wall. No. Okay. Cause I was going to say, um, some people don't like the bright lights in their eyes. What you do is turn the lights around and bounce it off of the mm -hmm. white wall. And then it shoots onto you and it's a much better looking, I made a TikTok about it and I showed the difference and it's, mm -hmm. it's crazy, crazy. The difference is crazy. Um, yeah. but yeah. When you come, when you go in full screen, I'm watching, I don't know if you're also watching my stream right now, yeah. you're dancing away. I love it. Uh, you know, I can see you so much better, you know, I can see you so yeah. much better here for some reason. I don't know if it's just cause the, the camera is bigger overall versus when we go back here, it's just a lot smaller. I don't know. It looks a bit different. I don't know. When you go full cam, is there something different on your monitor? Maybe it's your monitor that's giving a different light. N not even. No. <laughs> No, okay. anyway, it's usually my main monitor is in front of me and it's, uh, it's like overwatch. So, okay. It's okay. Not different. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. It could also be, like I said, the lights in the background that your camera is trying to compensate and auto yeah. adjust for that exposure of those lights. That's not focusing on you. So I think you just got to play with the settings. Yeah. I was thinking because yeah. the lights in the background, I had a remote where I could like lower the like brightness, but okay. I lost the remote. Oh, yikes. <laughs> so, like, I, I really don't know where it is. Oh, no. And there's nothing on the cable itself that you could do? No, I can just, like, turn it on and off. Okay, okay. Maybe I can look. <laughs> I, I'll look. I'll look. Maybe try to find a remote because I think it's somewhere, but... Yeah, I'm sure that you, there's some settings you can change in the... Uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, it, it, does it come with its own software, the uh, Razer, Kyle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, even OBS has some settings for it. So you should, you should be good to fix it. Yeah. I'll look um, up. what else can we talk about? What else do you want to do? Do you want to talk about your TikTok and in terms of growth and things like that? Yeah, I 
also TikTok. That's one of the main reason I switched Overwatch too. Okay. Um, because I I posted before some DVD clips. Okay. But they were not doing as good. So okay. I was like, what can I do? Like Overwatch. I posted Overwatch clips before. Okay. And they were just better views. So that's why I like went with Overwatch. I like both the games. So I was like, I don't mind. Okay. And now my, I feel like my Overwatch TikTok, they're just doing a kind of okay. Like compared to before, they're doing great. Okay. But I feel like when I, I don't know, because I know the TikTok algorithm is very like geo. Like it takes your place to send the videos. Uh, and I little, feel like, yeah. Yeah. When I, it looks weird, but when I put my face in it or I talk, usually yeah. I, it, I don't get as many views. Oh, yeah, really? Okay. I, I don't get, I don't understand why, but. I mean, yeah, I don't know. You know, that's, and that's, that's kind of one of the random weird things with TikTok. And what I suggest to all, you know, TikTokers starting out is kind of your first 20 videos need to be all different almost, you mm -hmm. know, like post three or four videos of you with your face and your voice post yeah. four videos of the text to speech and your, your, you or something, and then yeah. post no face and only text to speech or your, or no face and your voice, you know, like try all these mm -hmm. different variations and something is going to click and whatever that clicks, you just continue doing that. Yeah. Right. Cause I've seen, I mean, I see on your stream right now, like there's a, a one that's called little sneak and my new faith tank. Like I, Little Snake is kind of a good play, but my new fake tank, I, I look crazy. Like, I just shake when all the way. Behind. What? In this one? Uh, there's my new favorite tank. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe the stream is delayed. Because I, I had... Oh, no... my new favorite tank, this one? Favorite tank. So you're yeah, not even talking here, delayed. are you? Yeah, I'm... No. It's just a play, and it looks like I'm, I'm panicking. Thing. And yeah, it does people... look like you're shaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, that's why I started like, cause I started recently putting like shake your same okay. because like literally in every single clip, like close to every single clip, there's someone going to comment about my shaky aim. Yeah. But at the same time, it works. So I was like, why not brand it? You know, <laughs> I actually, I love that you're not like mad about it and that you're leaning into that because a lot of people would be mm -hmm. hurt about it. Yeah. You know, I and mean, I would... saw people relate. So I was like, is it a good idea to like kind of brand it? That's smart, you know, because who knows people, I, I don't know. Do you, is it like an actual medical thing or it's not for you? No, it's not. <laughs> Okay, I'm just asking because <laughs> there is a medical thing with it, yeah. you know, uh -huh. there, there's actually, I don't know who it was, it's like a Valorant streamer and he's shaking like yeah. crazy, like crazy, but he's actually really good at the game. Like you, you're cracked, you know, he's killed. So, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to, to share that. So I like that. I like that you're doing that, like brand that and, yeah. and go with it. You know, you're like the best shaky gamer in the game. Cause that, that's the thing. I was like, why not brand it? Because I, yeah. like I said, I saw some people relate, like some people mm -hmm. were like, oh yeah, I shake like that too. That's why I play mercy or something like that. So okay. I was like, oh, people can relate to this. Nice. Like I'm not alone. So I was like, I think that's a good idea to brand it. Cool. Go for it. Careful and set your expectations that as you grow, you're going to get mm -hmm. more hate. Yeah. Right. So I mean, I if don't like Okay, that's fine. That's good. <laughs> that's good mentality, you know? And just yeah. be careful because it could turn into, you know, really like a hate train and people come in and yeah. being really like, holy shit, you know what I mean? So you have to moderate that and be careful with mm -hmm. that. But so far, I mean, I, I had some like weird comments that I deleted. So I had yeah. Delete yeah, exactly. I delete and uh, report and get them out of there, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. really look at them. Like, I just find it funny. Like, the one. Like you see right now, like bros panicking or something like that. I, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of funny. I even liked it, I think. Okay. Because maybe I was panicking. I don't remember. I don't know why I shake like this. I literally don't know, but well, I find it funny more than anything. Cool. Why not? <laughs> you know, yeah. go with it. Because when I look at my aim syndrome, try yeah. lowering your sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there you go. You now that I know what it's called, so I can even like talk about it. Yeah, exactly. So, one thing I would say for you to do is that every single comment 
you should be mm-hmm. responding to them. Okay. Every single one, because it, it adds engagement to your stream. And every single one of these people are potential viewers that are going to come to your stream. Yeah. Like every single one of my TikToks, even I had a TikTok, it, it went viral to 2.5 million views. Mm-hmm. And for the next like 48 hours, all I did, I was responding to comments. Yeah. Seriously. Like I responded to every single comment and even people that like tag somebody else to share it with them, you know? Yeah. I go in and I, ta- and I, and I comment and I say, thanks for sharing, mm-hmm. you know? So there's always something that you can say to these people. And what I would say is engage in conversation with them, almost ask them questions. You know what happens? They're going to come back, watch the video again, because it automatically yeah. runs the video. So it's an yeah. extra view. And then they're going to w- respond to you or they're not going to respond to mm-hmm. you. So who cares? But at least they come back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And okay. then you get some conversations going and it adds to the engagement. So instead of your video having four comments, you have eight because you yeah. responded to everybody. Right. And yeah. because every single one of these people is a potential viewer to come to your Twitch or part of your community or part of whatever, you know? Yeah. That um, makes sense. And, and you know what I would do? I would go to avoid the potentially going down the toxic hate path. I would actually laugh with these people. Where's the one that everybody was laughing? I no, it was, what was it called? Oh, my it's new a, favorite my new favorite thing. thing. Yeah. I would respond to all these people and laugh with them. You know? Yeah, literally. But I mean, I do it. I just didn't type it out. Because like when I receive comments mm-hmm. like that, I find it mm-hmm. funny. Mm-hmm. Like I do laugh mm-hmm. at it, but I just don't type it out. You know, I would go with it and I would put like the skull is like, I'm dead, you know, from yeah. laughing. So just respond to dead. It, you know, it's, it's just like, like laugh with him. When people see that you're laughing with it, they take it as, oh my God, I was, I was hating a bit. And this guy's laughing with me. Like, that's a cool person. Mm-hmm. You know, they could take a joke or they could take it lightly and they're lighthearted. Cool. Right. Yeah. And when other people that might also have jitter aim, they see that you're taking it so lightly. Now they know that you're, it's a safe place to come and hang out with you. Yeah. That you makes know? Sense. <laughs> like, is your mouse having a seizure on God? I would respond. No, it's just <laughs> me with like an upside down smiley face, you yeah. know, <laughs> like laugh with them and go with them. And I, I think that's really going to help you. Right. And also yeah. what I would do is I would take this guy's comment. Cause this one, you know, or one like this, that is, that is, that you find funny. Like you're so shaky, you good. I would take this and respond to it with a video. Yeah. So that way you get like the comments showing up on your TikTok video. Mm. And a lot of people, yes, they do read, you know, your title, how you put up here when the mercy has been annoying all game or whatever. Yeah. Um, or with your favorite tank, you wrote Junker Queen is my new favorite tank. But when they see the little reply comment, people read that. Yeah. Right. And then they're like, oh my God, what? And then, and then now they're going to click on that comment and it's going to send them back to this video. And this video uh-huh. is going to grow even more. Yeah. I've, right. I haven't started like since I've been like doing cam stream for like a week or something. I haven't started doing TikTok. Like, just, you know, filming with the phone or something. Like, I've okay. been posting clips, really. Yeah, yeah. No, but you can, you can, you can respond to a video with a clip. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You don't, I'm not saying film yourself or film or whatever. Mm-hmm. Continue doing these shaky, you know, funny clips yeah. or whatever. But use, um, use their reply feature. Mm-hmm. Because Instead then of putting, it, like, a title or something. Like, I could put both, another, both. like, Uncle Queen, yeah, play and... But both use the comment. Yeah. But both, but both for sure. You know, because then people are going to go down, uh, they're going to go down the the list and they're going to click and click and that down the rabbit hole they go because they click on this one. Oh, he replied. Oh, what happened? Wait, he replied to another one. Wait, let's go watch that video. That's so funny. Yeah. Oh my God. His his aim. This can't be, this is not real. Let me watch the other one. And now every single video, right? One video goes viral and now you just sent them off to your other 10 videos. Easy. Yeah. Right. Also, I, I mean, it's in, I know it's in my bio, but I've been like recently adding like my Twitch thing, like a Twitch thing. Okay. I, I keep forgetting. So like all of my TikTok don't have a Twitch thing. Okay. I mean, I don't know if it's a good idea, like a good thing to do or like, cause in the video somewhere, like I add like a Twitch emote thing and then my name. 
like this one yeah i had it at some point i Isn't would have it the entire time yeah okay um and do you like how do you do these clips do you use an editor or uh usually yeah i use a i use a website oh, here okay and yeah um, exactly how you did here this is perfect i know that the stream is delayed but it'll it'll catch up but it yeah how this you one have this, yeah, yeah that's this perfect one. just do that yeah i use a website and then i add the text and things so yeah okay, so the perfect. title always have a title okay mm -hmm. and once the title is done exactly the, repeat this video this is perfect yeah and put that okay. there just so that people know that where they can go to find more of mm -hmm. that content right yeah and, uh, i think it's good i don't think it's a bad thing it depends okay. where you want to grow like do you want to grow your tiktok or do you want to grow mm -hmm. your twitch you know so sometimes me i say oh come to my twitch or sometimes i'll say follow for more yeah so it's like oh, i want to grow my following on tiktok or i want to grow my following on twitch it's your call yeah i mean okay. I, I i mean right now tiktok is going crazy i mean uh yeah i when i yeah. started last week to post like two times a day i had like probably less than 200 likes and now i'm at 2000 so, i mean <laughs> nice yeah <laughs> there you go okay so what i would say is like it looks like it's doing well and you're happy with it be mm -hmm. careful of your your like dopamine intake mm -hmm. from these views and these likes yeah okay because tiktok is made for that it's literally it's 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 like a drug how many times have you seen an account go viral with their first video yeah it's because they want that person to feel so damn good and they're like holy mm -hmm. shit i'm gonna keep and then posting yeah and then it goes down to 200 views after mm -hmm. right? but i mean so... i have like i know it's seven flows like that's mm -hmm. it's like up and down like yeah. i have some videos at 200 views and i'm like oh that's okay yeah good like, maybe the good. next one is gonna be fine excellent mentality yeah, perfect and don't yeah, take don't. it down because the 200 could turn into 2000 like mm -hmm. next week mm -hmm. and yeah. especially lately like compared to exactly one year ago the way tiktok would work was within like four to six hours you were pretty much at the peak of the views that mm -hmm. you would get on tiktok now yeah. it takes over 24 hours for that same thing to happen so it's a very slow release yeah. i i feel that because like uh the little sneak one like i posted it like a couple days ago and still today like there was some people liking it you know yeah it could be days even i posted well, one um i think it was late last week and it's still going so yeah. it, it's always gonna go you know even mm -hmm. if when you're scrolling on tiktok if you look and see the date things were posted it's like two weeks two months ago even so yeah. they're really trying to promote all videos on pages which is great it's great Okay. okay so what i'm trying to say with that though is don't worry about the views and worry more about providing a sort of value mm -hmm. right so show off your shaky aim but you're still getting you know double triple kills and you're winning the game with your shaky aim if yeah. that's the the road you want to go down like that's that's great keep keep doing that right mm -hmm. and whatever value you want to give give that value um but don't don't worry too much about the views because it'll come. They, you need to be just keep posting consistently, right? Yeah. I mean, I've been trying to do two times a day. And yeah. right now, I'm, uh, it's going great. Nice. Like, I, I can keep go doing it. Do you feel like that's sustainable for you? I, I think so because I play enough Overwatch. And even when I'm, like, not live, I, like, okay. I save. Like, if I hit play of the game or, like, I hit something that I think it's good. Yeah. Like, even if I'm not talking because usually... Like when I'm playing, I'm not streaming. I, I don't actually speak. Okay. So like, right. I I save it and then I can use it. Or because nice. some of them were when I was not streaming. So I feel like it gives people also a reason to go see my TikToks. Yeah. This yeah. yeah definitely. Like they haven't seen this. I also wanted to say I like that you always put this little intro. Yeah. of like this little character it looks like she's jerking it there which is cool yeah. uh, <laughs> you know you have this i don't know what this guy's name with the little cigar here you know you show off mm -hmm. this little like scene which is yeah. i don't know it's different it's really different i've never really seen that it's, I mean, like it's, a, it's part of the game yeah it's it's part of the game when you get a play of the game or okay. uh, when you, you can go back in the game and uh, overwatch give you a highlights so like okay. a good thing you did in a match and they always okay. come with the intro and Mm. you can even buy intros so some of them like they're not like the normal ones so that's why like they look cool 
Did okay, I get that. I get it now. So I like that specifically because it focuses their attention on your title. Mm-hmm. And second, this is something that not a lot of people see, right? Yeah. Like if if you only see this type of thing in a play of the game, man, everybody's shit at Overwatch. <laughs> you know, so they're not going to see a play of the game very often. So seeing yeah. these little intros, it kind of captures the attention. And then, okay, now let me go and watch some some good footage. Yeah, because I, you know. I, I, I started doing this with the little intro because I, I usually put the text to speech. Okay. So I was like, it gives the text to speech time to read the title before they see the thing. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. It maybe it was in my head, but like personally, I was like, it's kind of annoying if I, like, I have to hear the text to speech while the video is playing. I, don't, I agree. It, maybe it was I just me. Feels- no, I agree. <laughs> But yeah, so that's why I was like, let's put a little bit of the highlight. I think it's a great idea. And I like the TTS voice. Um, Overall, that's that's great. Continue with these titles that are bringing in um, intrigue and interest. Mm -hmm. Because unlike YouTube, we don't have a way to put titles and thumbnails. Yeah. So what you're doing, dude, is amazing because this is your thumbnail. What is this girl's name? The one who's jerking in here. And then you have, (laughs) (laughs) you know, you have her over here. This is your thumbnail. And then this is your title might have the shakiest aim, but it works. Right. And that to me is such a great title because it's like, how does this person have shaky aim, but is still winning? Right. That's intriguing. Uh That's interesting. Right. It's like counterintuitive almost so continue with these hooks because that is what brings people in you got to hook them within yeah. the first second right yeah because when, when you're scrolling on tiktok you're just in that motion of swipe up swipe up swipe up so you're ready to just swipe it's like why should i watch this video that's what they're asking themselves unconsciously right or subconsciously mm-hmm. right why yeah. should i do i care about this video i'm ready to go to the next so if you give them a, an intriguing title like I'm so damn shaky, but I still got play of the game. It's like, wait, what? How? Yeah. And I need to see this. Even though I don't even care about Overwatch, I need to see. So yeah. it's almost, uh, it, there's potential for virality there because it's not uh, like a common thing, right? Yeah. It's not just like, oh, watch this uh, triple kill with Junker Queen. Like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me personally, because I don't watch or, or play Overwatch that much. I played it in the past, but... When you say like I'm I'm super shaky, and I'm not supposed to be that good, but I won the game, it's like okay, that's skill. Let's let's watch what happened, right? Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I think that's also why like maybe my um, my DVD clips were not like because I don't know maybe I was doing less hook, I was doing less title, I was doing something different. Because when possible. I posted Overwatch clip, I did a little bit like this. Like the, mm, the, yeah the, look the look one. at that huge difference you know i'm coming to your yeah, uh, dvd okay. clips now there's no hook there's no title it doesn't explain what am i about to watch why yeah. should i watch why should i care right and it's almost I, I said this in the past but it's it's almost like you're spoiling what's about to happen yeah you know like when you say like oh i got a, an ace in the game or i i, I won the game but uh, i was the last man standing it's like you spoiled it for me, but it's okay because now I get to watch it and yeah. how it's going to play out, right? So yeah. it's not like a spoiler alert, like you you ruin the thing for us, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, all your DVD clips, they don't have... Uh... And then as soon as you post uh, Overwatch, Overwatch, you put one. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I put so... one, I was like, I had to get a team kill and then yeah. it got like 3,000 views. <laughs> I love this VTuber model, by the way. It's super cute. <laughs> oh thank you that was the first one i had did and then I, ha- I, ha- I have a male one okay yeah is that the uh mm-hmm. like super beefed guy yeah 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 <laughs> like with like the eight pack or something here yeah this is crazy yeah, i got so many <laughs> i love that i love that mm-hmm. so yeah you know this is the, this is the thing with posting a lot and sharing a lot it's because you should be trying new things and testing what the waters like. with voice or text to speech or whatever mm-hmm. it is and that's what yeah. makes you find your space and then you you go yeah also that. my that i think uh, you just clicked on it like the balance changes uh that's yeah. i started playing I overwatch and then i saw a balance change was coming okay and when i saw it i recorded like the before and then did the after and edited all that cool 
that was like the first one I did. That's cool. And if you want to go down that route, you can and talk about all the different changes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like those yeah. videos actually did really well compared yeah. to what you were doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, overall your, your, your stuff is doing well. I would continue with, um, choosing specific hashtags. Like you always put overwatch, yeah. overwatch two, OW two clips, overwatch, TikTok. like choose those six or seven hashtags mm -hmm. that are always going to be the same. You can like make yeah. a copy paste in your phone, you know, or wherever yeah. and always use the same ones. But then yeah, recently I've been using more of the same one. And then okay. usually what I do is I switch one to put like the character or something. Yeah. I would say you don't even have to switch. If you have like six or seven or eight hashtags that are always the same, that's okay. And then just add two or three to add the character's name. Or like before the one you had with here, Overwatch Anna. Yeah. Like you could do that too. Hashtag Anna, hashtag Overwatch Anna. Yeah. You know, hashtag Junker Queen, hashtag Overwatch Junker Queen. Like, keep putting those in because maybe people are looking for specific strategy or want to see clips from that mm -hmm. specific character, right? And what helps with that is your the algorithm knows constantly, okay, Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. It's like, yeah, it knows who to send your stuff to, right? Yeah. Um, you... One last, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, just a little question. Do you think, like, if I post, like, for example, I have like a stream one that's not a clip okay do you like think this. i should take the same hashtag still yeah but it's like because overwatch is in the background <clears throat> but it's not about overwatch i i i feel like it wouldn't like i don't know if i don't know how well it would do like maybe one time mm. it'll it'll be okay here it yeah. didn't do okay you know compared yeah. <laughs> to the before and after if we were to just look at that like you're doing a thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. thousand then 200 you know, so yeah, I don't know. I would just stick with the same hashtags, but mm -hmm. this video doesn't really go with the Overwatch stuff. So in my eyes, if you were to ask me, should you post this video? I would probably mm -hmm. say no, don't even okay, post yeah, it. Yeah. Because just stay with what, what works, you know? <laughs> No, yeah, not what works, but what you want to be posting. Like, don't get sucked yeah. into what works because what works in the end, mm -hmm. you're gonna hate the game or or whatever, right? Like people yeah. say, like, <laughs> oh, it's such a classic game, like like Dark Souls One, bro. If you hate that game, mm -hmm. but you think it's gonna do well, you're gonna fail, right? It's just not gonna be successful for you because you don't actually enjoy it. You're just doing it for the views or for the numbers. You know, yeah, so don't go down sense. that path. Do it because you enjoy it. And when you're having fun, people like to see you having fun and then they're there for it. Yeah. You know, okay. um, but yeah, I would choose a, um, a content, like a value, like what's the reason why your TikToks are important? Why should we mm -hmm. care to watch your TikToks? And from what it looks like, it's, you're showing off great gameplay with your shaky aim and you're mm -hmm. funny about it. You're laughing with yourself, which is fantastic. Yeah. So continue down that path, right? If your clip does not have that content in it, it might not be, you know, mm -hmm. valuable or worth it. Yeah. Right? I mean, for right now, I haven't, like I said, I haven't posted a clip where people didn't comment on it, even though like I look at it, I'm like, I'm not shaking that much, but people think I shake. So I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe it's the same people. Yeah, maybe. You know. Maybe. Yeah. So your homework is to go into these TikToks and mm -hmm. you know and come in here and respond to them. Even if it's older videos, you know, yeah. you don't have to go do all of them. If you want to, you can. But mm -hmm. you know, go at least back uh, the past two weeks and respond to all these guys because this could be your next viewer. It could be your next you know subscriber. It could be your next moderator your next yeah. VIP, your next best friend. Like I met amazing people through TikTok and uh -huh. they're my friends today, right? So it's, you know, and, and, and by responding to these people, other people see, because just because they're not commenting doesn't mean they're not watching or reading yeah. comments. Yeah. So if they see that you're a funny guy laughing with yourself and with them in the comments, maybe they're gonna follow because they want to see more mm -hmm. of you being such a lighthearted and taking it so easy, you know? So yeah, your yeah, community probably. is here. They're waiting for you, right? Yeah. Go and respond to them, be with them. And, and like I said, that was, I think that's a, a huge tip that'll help you is if you reply with one of these clip videos, that's mm -hmm. huge. That'll help a lot. Okay. For sure. That's good.
Cool. Any last questions before uh, before we go? No, I think that's good. That, yeah. that, that really gave me insight. I took a lot of notes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tomorrow good. I'm free. I'll, <laughs> I'll get to it. Nice. I love to hear that. Good. I, I like your stream. I like what you're doing. I think, uh, you know, with a, with that microphone tweak, first off, I think if you yeah. adjust that, <laughs> I think you're going to, you know, do really well. And then your TikTok is doing so well that I think it's going to bring in viewers. You're really on the right track. You're doing the right things. Keep going. And I'm looking forward to seeing you. Uh, you, you fly, man. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Good. If you need anything, you know uh, where my streams are, you know where my Discord is. Yes. Reach out and I'm happy to help you. Perfect. All right. Cool. Have a great night. Good luck. <laughs> you too. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Creepy Bastero, thank you very much for letting us use your stream to review. Hopefully this helps you. And uh, if you don't take any of my suggestions, it's all good. No hard feelings. That goes for everybody else. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So already off the bat, I see this scary ass bunnies with blood on their face. So I'm going with horror streamer or likes horror games. And I think I'm right with that one. <laughs> okay. You got a, a cute little picture here with some bunny ears. So I like that so far the branding works. You got some bunnies and then the word creepy in your name obviously works. If ever you wanted to make these capitals, you can make it capitals. If you go in the Twitch settings, you go up to your bio here and go to settings, I believe, and just scroll down. There's something called display name. You can actually change this if you want to go like creepy capital P Pastero and you could save it like that 27. Okay. That's up to you. Uh, what you want to do. Okay. You got a recent broadcast up and running. Okay. Nice. Cool. I like this. I like this. What's your phobia? Great title. This is what I'm talking about, uh, about how people uh, come in to the chat and they're interested and they're engaged and they want to click in and, and talk about these phobias or maybe they don't want to talk about it, but it's a great conversation starter. All right, taking a look at some of your games here that you're playing. I don't know any of these, but seeing this September 7th, you know, this definitely gives me the creepy vibes that you're playing horror games and you know, by just scrolling through, I see your very horror style. And I'm saying the word horror, like scary. I'm not saying any other words, okay? <laughs> In case there is a miscommunication with my microphone. Hello and welcome. I hope you enjoy your short and or long stay here with me. I'm creepy and I play lots of horror games. I'm very loud and do cuss a lot. I'm also a game gaming system co collector. Cool. On Saturday, Sunday, I do co-op and just shine streams at night. More life info in my about panel. This is great. I really like this a lot because it tells us so much about you. This is a super sweet welcome. We learned this is your name because you put a capital C. So this is what you want us to call you. And already off the bat, we know that you're playing horror games. You're very loud and you swear. So this is good. It kind of gives us an idea of like, is this family friendly or not? And cool, something to talk about. You're a game system collector and you do something a little bit different on the weekends with your streams. And then read more about me in my info panel. Like that is great. That is great. And uh, something that like actually wants me, this actually gets me to want to read what you wrote down there. Invitation. If you don't ask, you won't get, right? Uh, you got your Instagram, Twitter, and my OCD is ringing some bells here without the capital I and capital T on Twitter. <laughs> but then you got the capital T and, and Y and D over here. So that's completely up to you, right? How you want to, how you want to do that stuff. But my OCD said, Hey, Silent Hill fanatic, a new schedule is up. Cool. I like that. Cool. Love that. Okay. Your Twitter works. Your TikTok is working. Your TikTok clips go in. I am not about that life, <laughs> about really like revealing all my stuff because you could go into some, into some sketchy territory where people are going to start looking you up, finding you, commenting, maybe start doxing. So really be careful with that. Okay. Especially, you know, on Twitch, I, I, I would be. I would be, I, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. It's a concern. It's a flag that I would say, think about it long and hard. If you want everybody to know your full name. Okay. Um, and that's also something to consider in donations guys. This is something I, I spoke about. I'm, I'm 
I'm clipping down a, a moment that I had with uh, Absurd Parrot where we talk about donations and stuff. But your username on PayPal is, if it's connected to your personal account, if I donate to you, if a viewer donates to you, they will see your full name. So you need to change your PayPal to a business account or create a new PayPal business account and call it your Twitch username because it is a business. And then now people will see your Twitch username instead of your full name and potentially, I don't think they see your email address, but they will see your full name. Okay. So be careful guys, be careful. And especially if you're trying to hide things from your employers, it's a good point. Chat's bringing up about LinkedIn, you know, maybe they're going to call your work and say, Hey, can I speak to Vanessa? You know, she said some things she's streaming. She, you know, you don't want to get into trouble here. So be very careful. Uh, especially a lot of girls on Twitch. I got to admit for me, it's very concerning. I, I would, I'm even concerned for guys. Like there's been a lot of swatting lately of even small streamers getting swatted. I, I it's the anonymity is really a big thing. Be careful guys. Seriously. All right. Next up, let's go look at it in chat mode. We didn't do this earlier, but we'll do it now. So the first thing for me, I always want to see like about me, like as the first panel, I guess here it's close to chat, so it's okay. But if you're scrolling on your phone, this won't be the first one. Okay. This won't be the first one. So people have to scroll down to get to the about me. I'm never a fan of that, but Hey, it's up to you. It's up to you. Okay. Um, about me, this title, you actually don't need this because it says about me here, even this too, Mercaria. I don't know what that is rules here. This is an extra thing. You can delete that because it's just redundant. It's taking up space uh, treat stream. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what this is. I would give some more information down here, you know, click the banner to be sent to treat stream, which is send me food, whatever, like type it down here. Thrown wish list. Again, this is also redundant because it says wish list, right? You can get rid of that. But overall, these look cool. This matches up, I guess, with some horror heroes or characters from horror video games. So I like that. I like that vibe for sure. The name is Vanessa. I'm 29 year old mother of one. Nice. Congrats. I graduated in 2013 from high school. I am bisexual. So please be nice. Okay. This I feel like is. I want you to be be okay with, you know, who you are. I want everybody. I know that we can ask this of the world because the world is not always the nicest place. I understand where you're coming from with this sentence, um, but it's almost like you're pre meditating and almost manifesting that people are going to be mean to you because you're bisexual. So you have to ask them to be nice. Just come out, say it. I'm bisexual. And if they're bratty in chat and they're, they're breaking your chat rules, which number one is don't be a dick. This is a, this is an exclamation mark, by the way, not one, <laughs> which is all right. Um, you know, if they're a dick, then you delete them, ban, delete, timeout, whatever it is. Right. I just, this is, this is also not a, a, a stream thing. This is also like a personal thing for you, right? You are who you are, be who you are. And let's not be shy about who we are anymore. So we're in 2023. My first ever gaming system was the Super Nintendo Game Boy. I only have two tattoos, wanting to get more, by the way, and have my ears stretched to an inch with one nose piercing. All right, cool. So we learned a little bit about you. You got some tattoos or piercings. You used to be a YouTube and Instagram content creator, or this word is creature. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but life just sucks at times that it ruined me to continue my passion of creating. Oh no. So I decided to embark on Twitch and TikTok, and I'm happy to say that it's going super for me. I'm proud of myself. I love that. I love to hear that. I'm a huge horror fan in movies and gaming, especially Silent Hill, but I do happen to love other things as well. Okay. That is super, super sweet. You know, this is good. We get to learn about you. This is great. This is great. And it's not too much. It's like short enough. That is if this went a little longer, I would say maybe it's too much and to break it up into maybe bullet points or paragraphs. Good, good, good. Overall great stuff. Let's look at your channel points. Kazoo time beans first pick a number. All right. All right. You got some good stuff in here End stream. Everybody loves this end stream thing. Like 
dude, I don't want other people controlling my content and ending the stream. What do I do? I go to bed. <laughs> I never understood this end stream thing. Put this to like 2 million. Because 200,000 can add up fast. Could add up fast, especially if you use um, channel, uh, what is it called? The channel uh, predictions there. The bets, the gambling. <laughs> okay, okay. Anything else to look at here? Yes, your emotes. Let's go take a look at your emotes. All right, we got follower emotes. Blue medallion and pyramid head. I'm assuming this has to do with horror games because I don't, I personally don't know what it is as like a non-horror person. You got a little doggy Shiba Inu here. You got a scary doll and tier one. You got some other like horror related things and you're changing emote soon. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Gotcha. So hopefully things all kind of come together because your branding is a little bit mixed. We got the bunnies here. You got yourself as like a cartoon, I guess. I don't know if this is you or if this is a character in a video game with the bunny ears. And then you got like all the different characters here and then your emotes. There's just this one bunny guy. So some sort of branding that overall comes together and brings it all together. It will make it look nicer. You know, is it going to make you uh, have more viewers and grow your stream? You know, realistically, probably not. But when when it all is kind of like a cohesive, it's like, OK, this this all makes sense. That's it. Right. Um, cool, cool, cool. Let's go take a look at your VOD and see what we could do here. Uh, recent broadcast two days ago. So are we okay to look at this? I know that earlier you said that you were having some issues. Yeah, here you're like cut. You're having some, some issues. Stream is falling behind and some issues. Okay, well, maybe we can go back to like a week ago. So it starts off with a black screen, which I don't know if that's normal. But I would be, I, oh, there you go. Now we got something that starts like a minute in. I would start this right away. Maybe it was just your scenes that was messed up or something on, on OBS's side, but definitely got to start with the starting soon screen. Okay, this is super cool, I like this. This week is eerie. I guess the game that you're playing, starring Creepy Pastero. I like that, starring, that's cool. And then you got your countdown, nice. I love that. All right, nice. Got some music in here. I'm assuming this is the MCA free because you're not muted. Hopefully my VOD doesn't get muted on YouTube. <laughs> I want to see you come in. Nice, nice little intro. That's cool. Hello, I love that. Jove, good morning. <laughs> love that, love oh, that. No, it is like so slow. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're all going to be fine today, chat. Okay. Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> oh, you have a heart rate monitor. Yo, That's I cool. I haven't been here for almost like what? Another two weeks again. That's embarrassing. Good morning. Why didn't that all work? Right, you have it great camera presence. Unless it Good voice. Let me, let me try that. It's loud. Let we let can hear you. I probably did that late as well. Oh my God. I think your music is a little bit loud compared to your microphone. Unless this is like a normal, you have a vibe session at the beginning of your streams and then you lower the volume a little bit later so you can actually chat with chat. I'm gonna lower then... just a little bit on the music. Like I said, oh, I always keep go. it at 50-50 at least. The same thing goes with my headset when I'm on here. But good morning, welcome in. I am Creepypastero27 and I am a horror streamer. It is currently, my clock is wrong on my on my fucking computer. Oh my God, it is currently 10, <laughs> All right, yeah. 38. You have like good presence and stuff. Too. That's that's great. That's great. Yay. <laughs> I would you said something about being 50 50 with your music. Generally, you want your music to be lower than you and not even with you. You are the main event, not the music, right? Your the music should be in the background. Oh, my God. But yes, after a long time, I know I was about. I don't to, know where your mic is, but like two weeks again. I don't know where your mic is, but we can hear you really well. So I need to know what kind of mic you have because I feel like I come across this situation so often where people have a mic far away and we can't hear them. So whatever mic you have, um, it works so well. That I, gotta, that I gotta do at home. So it just doesn't sound just the best like, in okay, terms I of have quality. To have stream. But when I go into the, when I but get it's not a bad here, thing. It's like the drain, you know, the tiredness just drains. We can hear you, and, and like, that's enough. Not today, just not cool. Today. I love that. Go... Chatting with chat. Karma, 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 karma. And I'm probably... This is like a loading screen. I'm, I'm assuming. What's this? Bigger one, really quick. Oh, this is your chat. Okay. 
<laughs> so you get into the game around 30 minutes in, which is great. This is fantastic. You have like around the 25 minutes of chatting with your chat, you know, full screen focus on them, Q and A type of thing, going back and forth, connecting before you get into the game. Great. Is this like a, oh, you weren't full screen. Okay, you fix that. This is like a classic <laughs> retro game or what? <laughs> I Let's scrub through. So, oh, it was that piece of paper. No, we're not here for that paper. I'm legit here for the cat. See, I hear him. I don't know where he's at, but I hear him. How quick he, he got. He's quick as fuck. All right. I don't know if it's just this specific game, but the game volume is, is low key. compared to your so voice. So if we're like trying to listen in and get into like the game and kind of be immersed with the game, we're going to crank up the volume, but then you talk so loud compared to the game that it's so loud in it. And then we got to lower everything. So just be mindful of those audio levels there, the music, the gameplay and your vocals in, in general, you should be doing like voice and then it's, um, gameplay and then music. Like that's the volume steps. Okay. Nothing. And uh, what else did I want to say? Okay, overall, your stream, your cam can be way bigger because you are the main event. I feel like you can come out, you know, a good, you know, go for it. Don't be, don't be shy. I mean, don't take up the whole screen. <laughs> don't take up like a whole corner or a quarter of a screen, but make it a little bit bigger, you know? Don't be shy. We want to be able to see you and like, you know, you have um, a, you know, your, your reactions <laughs> and stuff. Like we want to be able to see you, you know? So... I feel like you can go a bit bigger and there's also no branding on your screen. <laughs> there's no like, um, recent followers or anything like that. So that is good. If your chat, if you want your chat to be more immersed in the games that you're playing and just be like in the game and just following the game and not really, you know, distracted by all this stuff on screen. Great. Like you're, you're that's, if that's what you want, fantastic. Um, Generally, the streamers will have a little bit of love, you know, to show recent subscriber or something. And by showing recent follower, recent subscriber, it yes, it gives recognition to that person, but also reminds new people to follow or to subscribe. And that that's an option that they can do. Not just having like, there's a difference between a follower goal and a sub goal, which definitely helps push that forward. But by having those little reminders, it's, it's kind of nice to see. And there's also no... Um, branding of you like there's no like your name like creepy pastero like how you have at the beginning of your stream like this uh creepy pastero this purple and and pink thing like you know how why not throw that on your screen somewhere like near your cam and that way you have i don't know just some branding of you and people remember you and that way when you clip things down it always shows your username in your in your cam all right let's watch some of your vods here Hi, Wooly. <laughs> what is this game? And I'm Wooly. So I feel like, again like camera presence. You're there. You're talking. <laughs> oh you're laughing. You're chatting. Uh, we can hear you. Another poster about the moon. Huh. Overall, like there's nothing uh, okay, really on, there. Open this real quick. Yeah, there's nothing bad to yeah, say. I think that one was okay. I did play. A I don't know what else to improve. Today. Oh, this. You have an overlay thing down here, the creepy, I... creepy pastero. That cycles. Take this and just put it under your camera or above your camera. Small, it doesn't have to be big. Put it right up here. That way it cycles. It reminds yeah, people I have a Twitter, I have okay. a YouTube, I, I have a whatever. A of goody ones too. Right? Just keep in mind that if you're promoting your YouTube, people are going to want to see similar content. So if it's like different stuff or personal life, I'd be careful about that, okay? Especially because since you have uh, a one-year-old, that too can, uh, it's like a concern for me, you know? I'm just, I'm just, for me personally, if I had a one-year-old, I wouldn't put videos of them out on the internet for people to see and potentially, you know, hurt me or my child. That's just me. I'm overly fearful <laughs> and uh, not trusting of randoms on the internet. The and uh, if there's big streamers and small streamers getting hate rated and getting swatted by police and stuff, that's something that I'm very, very careful about. So 
So yeah, overall, uh, great stream. I think we covered everything. There's nothing that I missed. I always feel like I'm missing something lately, but we covered your stream. We went through your info panels. Uh, we looked at your chat, your emotes, sub badges, um, everything, right? We looked at your sub badges. No, you have no sub badges. How come? Wait, that's, that's what we missed. We need sub badges. I know that you said you were getting some new emotes. Those were coming in. Hopefully you're also getting some sub badges too. Five, the standard five is, is fine. You know, you don't have to go crazy with all uh, 30 months or something, but have at least the original five so that, I don't know, I think that it's a nice touch to have for people to kind of feel a little bit more uh, recognized in chat. Okay, cool, cool stuff. Overall, uh, great stream. Wish you lots of luck, Creepy, and, uh, and good luck. Good luck with anything. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay, thank you again. Lady Korea, thank you very much for letting us use your stream to review. Hopefully this helps you. If it doesn't, hopefully it helps somebody else. And if you don't take any of my suggestions or ideas, it's all good. No hard feelings. Uh, either way, good luck with your streams. Okay, let's take a look. So you got a nice banner here going. Uh, you got something, which is cute. I like this little, uh, like, person, little VTuber character guy here. This is super, super cute. I don't know if you actually use this for your um, stuff or not, but very cute. I see you have your socials here, which is nice. It's a nice touch. And because this is like resizable, then this probably fits in on different sized browsers. So I really like it. It works really well. It's a narwhal, that makes sense. Very, very cute. Um, Lady Korea, also something you could do if you wanted to capitalize your stuff. You just go up to your profile on the top right, go to settings and scroll down a little bit and you could change your display name. So then you can call yourself Lady, whoops, Lady Korea with capital L, capital C, completely up to you on how you want uh, to show that, but you can capitalize it. A lot of people don't know. Okay, you got your recent broadcast already showing, which is great. Um, you have all videos here. So this is a playlist that I don't know how you got all videos in here, but when you go into your videos, you can actually reorder these sections around. All videos isn't a bad idea. It's not a bad idea, actually. Um, especially if stuff is recent. Does this show like clips and highlights and everything or only recent broadcasts? It shows highlights too. Okay, this is actually not a bad idea. You know, I'm not really against this. As long as it's showing stuff that's recent. If this stuff is old, then I would be hesitant to have all videos and I would prefer recent broadcast. Okay, just because it's a more like obvious thing like, oh, these are, are their recent streams, right? Uh, your categories, Tower Princess, refund me if you can. Oh my God, I heard of that game. And Persona 3. Okay, so off of this, I'm not too sure what kind of streamer you are. I'm going with Variety Streamer. And then... Oh, you know, Chimkin Tamara, that's awesome. All right, let's go take a look at your, uh, hey, we didn't look at schedule. You got your schedule here. Boom, 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 okay, nice. You got this set up. Next stream is Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I love that, very easy for me to see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. I'm Kriya, cute, I'm a horror lover reject. Dating sim enthusiast. Uh, and bubble blower here. I would remove the S cause you're just one person. Uh, unless it was like, you know, couples, sometimes couples stream together, then this makes sense. And bubble blower, grab your popcorn and laugh as you watch this chaotic streamer constantly fail Twitch affiliate. Okay. Um, you know, the Twitch affiliate, I think is not really, I think it's taking up a little bit of extra room. I don't think that needs to be there. I think it's sweet. I think it's a nice goal that like you've reached for yourself. Um, and maybe you want to give some shout out and some props to yourself. It's, it's not a bad thing to have in here, but it is kind of like, it kind of goes with the territory, you know, like 99% of Twitch streamers are affiliate. And then, you know, there's the, 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 you know, the successful, Twitch partners that are Twitch partner, and then you get the verified badge. So, you know, no one needs to really write Twitch partner or Twitch affiliate or anything. I think it adds. Um, and here I would definitely write business inquiries, uh, Lady Akria, TTV at gmail.com. That way you don't just get like random emails from people. 
Like they might think like this is a way to contact you. I know it's, but when you put business inquiries, like no one's gonna email you. It's, it's weird. I've never gotten an email once from somebody like from Twitch, unless it was a sponsor. So we know what you like. You like horror, uh, you like dating Sims and uh, you're a chaotic streamer that, uh, you know, constantly failing. That means I guess you're like not good at games. So it's like a funny, uh, funny situation. I like that. We, we get a vibe of, of who you are. And we also know how to say your name. Uh, if you want to throw an apostrophe here for the I'm Korea, you can. All right, Lady Korea. Uh, you got a Kofi, Kofi. Okay, I guess this is uh, uh, the only. Is this the only way to uh, donate to you instead of having like a donate link? Or do you like sell stuff on here? Or <clears throat> is if this is your donate thing? Um, yeah. At least it doesn't say donate. If this said just donate, I would be hesitant to have this as your first link, just because when people are finding you on their phone, which most people, you know, will find you maybe on your phone on their phones, the first link is gonna the first link is gonna be Kofi, and then you have Twitter and TikTok. Instagram won't show because it only fits like three on mobile. So just be careful of that. Okay, your Twitter. I'll follow you here so I can tag you when this video goes live. Um. Here too in your Twitter bio, by the way, if you want to get rid of that uh, Twitch affiliate thing. I mean, here it's not bad. Here it's not bad. I, I just prefer saying like Twitch streamer, you know, right? Horror Twitch streamer instead of Twitch affiliate, you know, tell us more about you. Use use some of that. Okay, you got a TikTok going. Adorable variety horror stream with chaotic energy. Use that as your Twitter bio. That's great. Perfect. Okay, all right. So I don't know what your TikTok's about, um, there's no covers on them. That's, uh, something that, you know, we don't really talk too much about TikTok. but if I'm just coming to your page, none of these are like in enticing me to want to click into them because it's like on YouTube, you have a title and you have a thumbnail, but here I don't really see like titles, especially on my phone here. I see a bit of text. This is maybe new to browsers, but, um, on your phone, you won't see this unless you have a cover. So I don't really know what any of this is about. And this looks very like a lot, like this is like your personal TikTok, Um, and we don't, I don't know if it really goes with the content that you're sharing on Twitch. Just something to think about. Okay. And then you got your Instagram. Cool. Nice. All those links work. Let's read more about you. You can see that lady Korea here pronounced Korea. Uh, nice. I've been saying it right. <laughs> Uh, I like that you write that. This is this is great. Um, do we have? You don't have your pronouns in here, which you know that's up to you if you want to put your own pronouns. But um, some people don't put pronouns. That's okay. But this is also a great good place to put pronouns if you wanted to. I'm a variety streamer with an unhealthy obsession for narwhals, horror, rhythm, and dating sims. I love this. I love this. I feel like this should also be in your bio somehow. You know, but. It doesn't, it won't fit with all of this. And I, and I, I'm not, I'm not against this. So I think this, this is good. Let's learn more about you down here. As you'll see from my color scheme, I am pansexual. What does that mean? I like that. Well, for me, it means I'm a proud member of LGBTQIA 2S plus community. And I love everyone. I never call myself a safe streamer though. I'm extremely too clumsy and my laptop crashes way too mush for that. This is mush instead of much. I think what you were going for. Um, but I don't understand this though. I'd never call myself a safe streamer. I'm too clumsy. What do you mean by safe streamer? This is kind of confusing to me. Like if you say you never call yourself a safe streamer, it's like not a safe place to be in your stream. I'm really confused about this sentence. And I would, I would almost just remove that unless you're trying to say that you're toxic and, and mean to people that come into your stream. And then that's like your vibe. Um, on that note, because I, my laptop, my laptop can act up or crash. I switch back and forth, but, uh, between tween <laughs> PNG tuber and face streamer. And I love seeing my face. Sometimes you're freshly freezing water calls and I have to dive back in for a little dip. Okay. Like this too, this like explanation of why you need to switch. Um, that's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think that there's just like a lot of text, especially when I see all of this, these rules, uh, and I'm scrolling and like, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. I feel a bit overwhelmed with everything. Um, so I would just, 
I would just rethink like sometimes simple less is more, you know, so just I would just shorten this up maybe and, and say I switch between VTuber or PNG tuber and my face cam. And then I like the sentence. I know you love seeing my face. Sometimes the co cold water calls, you know, because it, it's like a, a, a nod back to the uh, to the narwhal thing. Right. But yeah. I love drawing and recently got a drawing tablet. So I'll start doing drawing streams and you guys can join me on my digital art learning journey. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, I think if you were to remove this sentence, remove this thing about the broken laptop, uh, I think it'll help clean things up a little bit more. All right, let's move on. Send food treat stream. Okay, you got your links in here. Uh, is this go to your personal Facebook? No, okay, that's good. Steam wish list. cool. You got your business email here. Uh, these rules are to be abided by perfect. Yeah. So this is like a lot, like this is really hard to read and I'm going to be honest with you. No one is going to read this. You know, no one is really going to read this just because there's so much text. Uh, and I know that you really want to be specific about your rules, but there's gotta be a way to make all of this stuff concise, you know? Like timeouts will be given if this rule is broken. Like we already said here, uh, it's going to be an Insta ban, right? So I would maybe adjust this and say, you know, follow the rules or, you know, timeout or ban is possible, you know, that type of thing. That way you don't have to write that in here. So like just no backseating. <laughs> this is what you're trying to say here. Gaming is supposed to be fun. I want to create a safe space that makes you feel included. However, no backseating. You know, I would just stick to no back seating. If I need help, I'll ask it from chat. Just that lets us know that what kind of space you're trying to create. Okay. This stuff, this stuff too. I think that you can, you can reduce all this. There's just so much text in here. It, people are not going to read it. If I click on this, this too, there's a lot in here. You know, this is, you're adding almost like a barrier to entry. There's too much rules. It's like, forget it. You know, most people, you know, aren't really going to read a lot of stuff in the info panels, especially if they catch you live, they're just going to be enjoying your stream and chilling in your stream and, and enjoying the vibe, right? Um, but just in my opinion, less is more. And the less there is, the more that they're going to read. Okay, we got your tips. Every little bit of support helps the channel. Tips are non-refundable. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. Great. Okay. Uh, you have a picture of your setup. Whoa. You're like s split into a corner. Is this... Oh, I thought your keyboard was split in two on both sides of the desk. I was like, that's crazy. Okay. You really got a, a setup here going. Wow. All right. Um, and then you show all of your specs, which is okay. You know, which is okay. I'm seeing a lot of less and less spec stuff. I think that people, I think that it's, it's a thing and even I have it and I'm debating getting rid of it, but it's something that I think in the past people were super interested about, oh my God, how are you streaming? Like, what are you using? What kind of computer do you have to be able to stream? Because back then, 10 years ago when Twitch first came out, no one was able to stream because it was so complicated and you need such hardcore gear. Whereas now you can literally stream with like a bucket and a mop and a, and a freaking toaster that it's so easy to stream. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm really thinking if we should even care about this stuff. I think what's cool is you having your drawing tablet because you spoke about doing drawing streams. I think that's cool to have, um, you know, and, and your art like PNG tuber by stream decorations by, if you want to have those links in there, I think that that's cool. I just think that this adds so much to a person's stream, but what value does it really give? You know, if somebody wants to know, let them ask in chat, <laughs> what kind of computer do you have? What kind of headset do you have? Let them ask in chat. It's like a way to, to do it, you know, and you got your commands in here. Okay. This is like a Pokemon thing and you got your emotes and bit badges. Okay, cool. And you got thrown gifts here. Um, this throne gifts, I'm not a fan of this picture because it doesn't really explain what this is, but people can click in and learn about it. So, you know, I would put a little text like, Hey, this is my wish list of items you can buy for me. Give a little, little, uh, little intro to it. Okay. You got a picture here. Oh yeah. Where's your schedule? 
I would put a schedule in here. You're missing a schedule info panel. We don't know when you go live. We don't know when you go live. I know that there's the scheduler in here, but having this schedule in here, because when people are watching your stream, they're not going to go to your main page, click on your schedule and see when you're live. Like I think a small, if you can reduce this, cut it in half, and then you could spend some real estate on uh, on a schedule tab. Okay, just so people know when they could catch you. All right, uh, let's take a look at your channel point redemptions. Nice. Got some good stuff in here. Good, good, good. And, you know, keep in mind, I see some, you know, in the 200s and stuff. So as people are gaining channel points, then you know, I would say bump up these numbers to make it. If it's annoying you, there's a lot of, you know, spam or something like that. Bump up those numbers and make it harder for people to uh, to get to get access to those redemptions. All right, let's take a look at your emotes and Twitch uh, sub badges. Uh, this one is super hard to see. Emotional bubbles. That one is really, really hard to see. You know, especially as like a, a little emote in a small text. You got the little booty dance, hype, horny hype, oops. Okay, nice, nice. These are cool. What is this? Oh my God. <laughs> That's freaky. Cool, I like that. You got some bit emotes. Um, some follower emotes, some narwhals everywhere. Oh, look at the horns. Perfect. I love that. I love that. Very cool. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, this one, this emotional bubbles one is, it sucks cause it's, uh, you know, it's so hard to see. I didn't even know that there was faces on those. That's gonna be super hard to see. Um, but it's there, you know, it's there, it's okay. You have it. I think that you, you might still have some available slots. Uh, that's just one I would think about and call out as a flag. Okay, let's take a look at one of your recent VODs and, uh, and see how we can help you here. Um, let's go to recent broadcast from three days ago. All right, starting soon screen. There we go. Boom. Uh, nice. You have your, your, your TikTok, Facebook and your, uh, your Instagram, sorry. And your TikTok here. Do you use Facebook? Is this something that you're actively promoting? You know, for me, I say again, less is more. And the less you have, the more people are going to, you know, if you just have TikTok, then people are going to want to go and check out your TikTok for other content. When there's like four five, six other socials to like follow you on. It's a lot of work to click and follow, click and sub and click and follow. So think about the one or two places you want to be promoting your stuff on and maybe share just those. All right, you got some music playing. Love that. And uh, okay, you set up a timer here. This timer started five minutes in. So this is like a 10 minute starting soon screen. I would say this is a bit on the longer side. If there's something that you're looking to do, um, you know, within this 10 minute time frame, just do it before you start stream and have a five minute timer. I think 10 minutes to me is just, it's just way too long. You know, if you want, if, if it's not enough time for you to write out your discord notification, your Twitter notification, write all of it before, hit go live, send those messages. And then now you have five minutes to, you know, double check things, get your water, uh, fit check, whatever it is. And then you come back, you know? All right. Let's see. Maybe this was just a one-time thing. Sorry. We're at 12, 12 yeah. minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you saying, sorry. Yeah. So that way you're not sitting on my starting soon. All right. Welcome on in, everyone. I am Lady Creer. For those that don't know, I am your chaotic, friendly streamer that never has a moment Love it. to be on time, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. I'm Love so that. Sorry, guys. Good uh, energy. Good vibes. See that cat right back there. Do you see her? You <laughs> yeah, see I do one? see her. <laughs> she decided to throw up. Yikes! Throw up. Yikes! What do I have to do? I have to be there. Going today, <laughs> but I am. But it's All right. okay. So, when you have so I would screens. say that you're, you're streaming at 1080p, 50 frames per second. I'm curious about this 50. It's rare that I see 50 frames per second. Um, but your cam you quality, do. I don't know what kind of Actually, camera you have. Maybe there's some settings there that we can, that we can fix up. But even in 1080p, 
the quality of the cam is is seems to be so. struggling maybe it's something to do with your bit rate that you're sending let me see okay Ooh, so I your bit rate is my at 1500 that is extremely low it's extremely low um i would bring this you need to bring this up to at least 4000 if you're gonna be streaming in 1080 this needs to be at least 6000 which is a lot which is a lot so my obs video on youtube it's 20 views away from 10,000 views <laughs> <laughs> so go and watch that one and it's going to help you set up there's a whole resolution and bitrate setting thing uh section watch that because 1500 bitrate is not enough let me show you what uh twitch recommends twitch encoding uh is it twitch i think it's called twitch broadcast settings there it is this is what twitch recommends for 1080p 60 the bitrate is 6000 if you're streaming at the lowest quality that anybody recommends the minimum is 3000 and you're at half you're at half so that's uh that's a huge struggle for um for your stuff to be like pushing out the data so that's why your cam might look bad that's why your stream might look bad um, even your microphone could be bad just because it's not sending enough of that data what kind of mic is that that looks like the sure sm7b is it because that should be a really good quality microphone how be you guys and it doesn't who knows right it's a five fine know, okay okay so like that you're chatting like here we say this that ignorant isn't a bad word why is my chat not being friendly um okay you got chat here i was about to say how come you're not full screen that's totally fine electric i feel like it's very bright your camera settings is like you're overexposed here uh it's, it's just so look, look at your your forehead you know there's so much light there's so much brightness i don't know if you have like the me. the light above your head the ceiling light in your room on or something but uh, there's something with your camera settings that we can tweak for sure to bring things and make it look uh make it look like it it is as if we were hanging in the room with you this just looks like you're being blinded by the sun <laughs> doesn't look comfortable for you it's probably not the case all right so you're just chatting for a little while and then i think your stream crashed so chatting for a little while what's this some react stuff watch some tiktoks one shade of white oh my gosh yeah that is really hard to see with this cam and with the lighting and i appreciate super cute she isn't she's the first among many all right so you're kind of hanging cool. out with chat for like we over an hour and a half so mostly no, like it seems to me like you're mostly a just chatting so streamer I and then you kind of play some games i haven't played it before cool 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 um the internet seems like you're always talking every time i scrub through which is great and your end volume is great overall too just the quality i think of the mic is it? is lacking it, it, it we want to hear My goodness Hold we want to hear you you know Okay. It could also be your bit rate, though. Going to go into sp spooky snowflake, and then the rate. Cool, awesome. All right, yeah. Overall, like, there's not really uh like a blatant issue <laughs> that I would say there. Just besides the bit rate, the bit rate is going to be a complete game changer for you if your internet can handle it. I cover everything in my OBS video, uh, so please check it out, and hopefully that helps you because you're you're being like held back by technology, which sucks. I hate that. So hopefully that video helps you to um, to to go a little bit further. Awesome overall, good stuff, and um, and yeah, and yeah. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for giving us your stream to review. I hope that helps you. And uh, you know where to find me if you have any questions, Lady Korea. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Flaretail52, thank you very much for giving your stream to review. Um, hopefully this helps you. If it doesn't, hopefully help somebody else. And uh, if you don't like what I have to say or don't implement the suggestions that I put forth, it's all good. Okay, no hard feelings. Wishing you lots of luck and success with your streams. Um, so off the bat, I see that you have a background banner. It says, welcome to the Aardvark Mythical <laughs> Research Center. Okay, cool. I don't know what this means exactly, but I hope to find out. Unless this is some sort of like childhood, I don't know, game or TV show that I'm not in the loop of. But uh, cool. I like that. You got your recent broadcast from four hours ago. Okay. Is this your only broadcast? Hmm, how come, where are all your other streams? I see there's a bunch of clips from 15 days ago, 12 days ago. 
I don't know if you've been streaming recently or if you took a break, but how come there's no other broadcast for us to take a look at? You know, this is um, if they're unpublished or something, I'm curious. That's what I'm I'm wondering. And this kind of shows that you are not not consistent because, you know, that's that's just part of life sometimes. But, you know, if this was titled like I'm back from vacation or something, then I would understand. So just trying to see what's going on there. All right. You play Splatoon 3. So I'm assuming your main game and only game is this. Let's go to your about me and open up chat at the same time. So this is what chat sees. This picture, okay, <laughs> is impossible to read. I don't know what the heck is going on. I see, I think some Pokemon. Oh my God, okay. Okay, short stream. I want to complete the catalog on camera. Splatoon 3. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it has to do with Splatoon 3. Uh, Sane by day, Aardvark by night. Okay, Pokemon fanatic, Temtem fan, Tetris elder, technology enthusiast, traditional drawer. I'm many things, but most importantly, I'm an entertainer and I fulfill that goal to entertain and that's all right with me. Without further ado, let's have fun, okay? Okay, cool, I like this. This is, you know, sweet little thing. We learn a little bit about you. Um, and if we're, you know, fans of this stuff, this is the kind of stuff I'm saying, guys. This is actually a great bio. Because... People want to say like, I love Pokemon and that's it, right? But you kind of go into some more specific things. Like, I don't know what Temtem is. I don't know what Tetris Elder means. You know, like people that are these types of fans of this stuff, like Pokemon fanatic, obviously <laughs> you like Pokemon, but you know, people that are, love Aardvarks or Temtem or Tetris, now they're vibing and now you're finding your people, right? So. Kind of less is more in this way and and i love that like you're you're niching down right you're not just selling coffee to the whole world you're selling like turkish coffee so more specific the better uh twitter facebook youtube art laboratory rec center oh for your discord okay i would actually change this to your discord i would just call it dicks discord because what is a laboratory rec center i don't know um, I don't know if this is your full name, but it's here, John Evie Green. You know, I'm always skeptical about putting full information on here and, and full, uh, full name. Just be careful about that. Okay. What else we got? Your Facebook. I would actually delete this. I would not put this on your profile because people could find you. Look, it says you work at at Walmart in Colerain, Ohio. I just doxed you even more. Like this is not okay. helping. I would not put this on your profile at all because if people want to hurt you or harm you or get you in trouble, they know exactly where to find you. This to me is something I just, I, I just would not put there. Okay. Um, you got your YouTube going. This banner is crazy. This banner is really hard to read. There's a lot of different colors in here, text. Um, I really don't know how to read this. This is not, this is not easy to follow at all. I would love to see this all with like uh, one color and maybe specific things have stuff, have like a different color. Yeah, th this is, this is, this is tough to read this one, but you got a YouTube going. That's great. You're posting videos. Nice. And, uh, and you're, you're, you're putting in the work, man. We love that. Love to see it. Okay, your deviant art. Oh man, <laughs> I love this. Is this what you call traditional drawings? That, that's what you called it, right? Traditional drawer. All right, cool. You got a place for all your art, and your Discord is working. Nice. Okay, okay. There is a lot of text here, my man. <laughs> uh, greetings this is a secret yet locally known research laboratory. Okay, there is a lot of text here, man. I also don't know what to call you. Do I call you Flare? Do I call you Flare Tail? Do I call you Aardvark? Because <laughs> you said you're Aardvark by night. I'm not sure what to call you. That's something that we're missing here too. I, I think that there's a lot of text here. If there's a way you can make this a little bit more concise, shorten this down. Maybe you're giving a little bit of lore. I, I see after a science experiment gone wrong, I'm now half Aardvark. 
Okay, so you're giving some lore into the, you know, entertainment side of things, which is okay. If this was your only thing, I would say it's not bad. But we got all this to read. Presentation hall, like we got all this to read. Mythical stream themes, we got all this. Oh, there's just so much that unfortunately no one's going to read this. It's just the reality that like less is more unless people really, really, really love you and want to get to know you. And that happens like it's flipped around people will come to the bio see your info panels they like you they love you now they're gonna watch your stream right we kind of have it a little bit flipped here your rules you can totally make these short and sweet like no back seating no trolls um 18 plus stream you know don't ask to play games no spam use common sense and respect the mods like that would shorten this down considerably right even even this like don't make me make a rule thing like just let them know you will be timed out or banned and if the person makes you make a rule like that's kind of a good thing like ban that person get them out of there and then now you have a new rule to add um and, and you, you kind of learned from that experience right i think that that's okay presentation hall like i don't know what this means laboratories hour of operation is this like how you refer to your stream your laboratory. It took me a little while to figure that out. Welcome to the lab. There's welcome to the lab here. I guess I missed that. Um, so this is your schedule. So instead of presentation hall, I maybe I would write schedule here just to make it really, really clear. And again, shorten this up, you know, shorten this up as much as you can. Just stick with what's important. I have an unstable work schedule and like this is obvious, right? If you have an unstable work schedule, then it's obvious that your stream schedule and your work schedule are are mixed up. Um, I will let you know on Twitter when I post a new video and when my stream starts. Yeah, so, you know, follow the Twitter for schedule updates type of thing. And maybe we can find out like a time that you normally stream unless your, your work hours are really like sometimes 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and sometimes 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. Like, and we really don't know, but if you say I usually stream nights in EST or MTZ, whatever time zone you're in, um, then that's, that helps, right? Yeah, like all of, in conclusion, <laughs> your in conclusion is almost longer than your not in conclusion. <laughs> it should be the other way around. So I, I think that all of this is just not needed. And I think that you should just let people know through your Discord and through your Twitter. If you know your schedule for that week, your work schedule, then you let them know. All right, guys, I can go uh, this week. Here's my schedule. And a lot of a lot of streamers do that. You know, on, on every Sunday they post in their Discord and on Twitter schedule of the week. I'm gonna be live Monday at 4 p.m., Tuesday at 5 p.m., and Thursday at you know 2 p.m. And that's it. And then you can come in here, you can actually come in here into your Twitch channel, into schedule, and you can set up those schedules. And then now um, it's kind of like lives in there as well, right? So you don't have to update that every time here in your info panels, you put it on Discord, you put it on Twitter, it's like good enough, right? Yeah, you got to reduce a lot of this. I think that's going to help you big time, big time. Um, okay, this is also part of your schedule too, like what to expect on the different days and here it looks like you're going to be streaming every single day <clears throat> i would be i i don't know if this is easy for people to understand i think that they're going to expect you to stream every single day but you said you have like an unstable work schedule so i also don't recommend streamers to be streaming every day even big full-time streamers i don't recommend it at all um, so think about rejigging this and maybe in your schedules, you could say what to expect from my streams. We play Tetris, we play retro games, we play Nintendo games, right? Cause I don't know what Friday night frenzy is. I don't know what crazy Saturday is and I don't know what chill Sunday is, right? You play cozy games on chill Sundays. So, you know, let us know a little bit of that. Maybe in your schedule again here, the laboratory rec center, this is your discord. It's kind of not obvious that this is your Discord. It took me uh, it took me a minute to get that. Um, last things to keep in know, streams themselves are subject to change. So we already covered that here in your scheduler that your work schedule is 
is uh, not stable. So it's already obvious. So you can remove this entirely, in my opinion. Okay, a list of games I play, games I don't play, and the current series that I'm in. Okay, I think games that you don't play is... Like, unless you're really getting bombarded with a lot of questions of, do you play this? Do you play that? Do you play this? Then I would understand why you want that here. But for the most part, from what's good for streamers is they just put the games that they play. So if you just write, these are the games that I'm going to be playing on stream, you know, it's okay if somebody asks you, hey, do you play Fortnite? It's like, I've played Fortnite. I don't like Fortnite and I'm not going to play it on this stream. But thanks for asking. Do you play Fortnite? And then you have a conversation going, right? Feel free to allow some mystery a little bit. <laughs> so people have some questions to ask you. If you give me your whole life story in here, well, then I don't ever need to talk to you again. <laughs> you know? Um, all right. You got your donations in here. Streamlabs, Patreon, stream loot cards and benefits. Okay. And you got Capamon. Supports me and it's free to make account. Okay, if you want to have your like Capmon affiliate thing, that's cool. Yeah, I think that will help everything that we sent that's gonna like bring things quite down, you know? It's just, I, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing and, and um, I'm not hating in any type of way, you know, that all of this is um, helpful, constructive feedback I'm trying to give to help you and grow your stream, right? This is a lot of text, right? This is a, almost a, a small book. So just, just keep in mind, keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, let's check out your, you don't have any channel point redemptions. Um, all right. Yeah. These chat rules almost seem a little bit better. How come, or are you, oh, you're not an affiliate yet. You're not an affiliate yet. So you don't have any sub badges. You don't have emotes and you don't have uh, channel point redemptions. Gotcha. 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 Okay. No problem. No problem. We'll get you there. Welcome early birds. So great to have you here. Uh, give me a few moments to confirm I'm live and we can start the countdown. <laughs> All right. Cool. So you got a countdown in here. This text I find is, is hard to read because you don't have something in the background to kind of block it. This like white on white, I find it makes it hard to read. In my opinion. Got your little Capamon guy. I'm drop it right Starting off with a raid from Ninja Talks. Nice. Alright, I think you're muted here. Of course, the, mo the, the time that I What is the sound in the background? Guys, I it sounds like we're out of space. Is that part of your stream? Is this part of the... Uh, or is this part of Splatoon gameplay? It really sounds like we're in outer space. <laughs> okay, what? Wait, I'm confused. Where'd you go? Do you not have like, a? Oh, you do have a camera. I am like also surprised that uh, them actually gonna get a chance to use Kraken. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna use it because I have to get all the wet out. I'm gonna get all the fresh season and weapons to. Okay, we can hear you really power. well. That's our power. Your cam is small. Your cam is small. Level. I, I, I gotta admit something, I, I've never really been a fan of these like split stream things. You got this massive real estate being wasted, all this real estate here is, is wasted. I understand that people want to put chat on the screen. I like chat on a just chatting screen, you know, here we get our chat going and then when we're gaming or showing stuff, then I remove the chat, you know, and just put your cam overlay on the game because at the end of the day, People that are into the games that you play know what's on the screen. And if you're just covering a small corner, you're probably not going to cover anything. Like, which co corner could we cover? You could probably cover, like, the bottom left. If I remove my cam. Like, it just says, this way and booyah. I don't think that that's important for the chat to know. Or even down in the bottom right, where your, um, where your buttons are. No one really needs to know which... Like, this is tool tips for you. Right. So I think putting your camera down here in the bottom right is going to be more helpful or even in the right on the middle, middle right. Like this is a great place to put your camera. We get a full scene of the game and, you know, we can be engaged here. Okay. 
So let's scrub through. So you've been quiet for a little bit here. So, you know, normally the streamers, we want to hear from them. We want to hear their reactions, hear what they're thinking. So you got to be talking a lot more. Like, tell us what's going on in the game, you know? Tell us what you're thinking. There we go. I love doing that. That's, that's the kind of stuff we want to hear, you know? So just a lot more talking. What is this timer? What is this little countdown? I don't know what this is. It's going up. It's going down. I'm confused. This is like a... I don't know what that is. It seems like a hype that train sounds, counter. That, that, that chorus is. And it resets at 15. Maybe I see a, like a Pokemon thing in your chat. Maybe it's some sort of chat community game. Cool. Um, and you also have the Skeledurge up here. I don't know what Black, this is Black. for also. This was not clear to me either. So something else to think about, like if this wasn't clear to me and I'm like fully reviewing your channel, then other people are going to be confused of this as oh, well. Okay. Well, That's something to think about. But I am definitely switching my weapon if I win this. <laughs> nice. All right. Your volume is good of your mic. I think your gameplay volume is good compared to your mic as well. I would just say that we need a little bit more Actually, talking from you. You yeah. know, you say you say in your bio, which I love, that you're an entertainer and all that, and you want to make people laugh. So let's hear more from you and let's engage more with you, okay? Um, I know that we covered a lot of stuff. I hope this helps you, and I hope you get some benefit from it. And um, yeah, is there anything else I can cover? Not yet. I'm looking forward to seeing your streams grow. I hope that you um, become affiliate soon and uh, and your streams streams do well and you're posting on youtube and you're posting so that's great you know keep doing that and i'm wishing you lots of luck and success uh Flirtail, thank you very much good luck on your journey and if anything was unclear reach out to me if you see this on youtube go in the comments or reach out to me in my twitch streams or uh or in discord if you want to chat there too all right thank you very much we'll see you in the next one all right, thank you everybody so much for being here. All the chatters, viewers, lurkers, all the new follows, guys. Welcome in to the mods who helped us out, all the channels that we reviewed tonight. Thank you guys for giving up your channels to be broadcasted to the world and dissected to help you in the end. Bye, 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 bye.